and here we have my 300 pmp 300 pmp mr mohammad umar umar first of all congratulations and what a surprise i just came back after watching molana the legend of mola jet two movie i was watching and interestingly uh, i was about to sleep as maybe you can see it from my eyes i was tired it was a long day i was about to sleep and i got a message from umar and i saw all above targets and interestingly today in the evening uh, he did a mock and i said uh, go ahead uh, book the uh, check the dates and i said check dates i said yes and this is the next message he sent me so umar first of all congratulations on becoming thank you that's pmp how do you feel i feel so great so i was aiming for this target for over the last 6 months but due to my personal commitments i had to go back i joined the batch 6 from your program so but there i could not study with the continuous pace so i went i i stopped working on pmp then i again joined your program i think it was in september so on batch 8 so from that i did all the things whatever you told me and within a month and a half i was able to clear my pmp or all, all, all the efforts and your mentorship led this milestone so it's very big given for me okay so thank you thank you very much i do let me know how important do you think consistency is because in your case consistency is one of the most important thing yeah consistency is one of the one of the most important thing because i also work eight to five five days a week and then i ha i live abroad so in abroad you don't have family members close but you need to manage other things as well so i was being consistent working three to four hours every day from last month and a half so consistency is very important and yeah this yeah. good yeah and whatever sarame told me i followed that road map and so it, it was consistency is also from the from the previous context uh, when you started you were doing good and then you have a family engagement a big family engagement yeah yeah so uh, what do you think on that context how important consistency is yeah consistency is good i have I have seen very dedi very much dedication from your end. So no, I, I think not, not my end, your end. How important it is from your end. Or my because I cannot do anything if you are not consistent, if you are not doing follow-ups or if you are not replying to my text, then I can lose my motivation. So I think your yeah. consistency is equally important as mine. <laughs> Achha, Umar, uh, let's talk about the one of the most important things. Okay. Uh, and that is coaching calls you have attended almost every single coaching call even if you solve the question or you don't solve the question that's a different thing but you did it at it yeah coaching call are very helpful and whatever questions you present in the coaching call those were quite relevant to the pmp exam so it is really helpful to do elimination technique do root cause analysis so i will recommend all the aspirant to do a coaching call regardless of their tough working schedule whenever i used to attend your coaching calls i used to attend in my lunch break because it was 12 pm over here in canada so i despite of all the roadblocks i i used to manage to attend your coaching calls hmm. okay okay so coaching call and the other thing that i always ask you and you kind of like i have to do for all the questions root cause analysis how yeah. you, now what do you think how important it was root cause analysis is very important so because exam questions are very tricky so they give you two kind of similar options so if you don't know your root cause and your elimination technique it can create issues so root cause i will suggest everyone to do root cause analysis as you prescribe it's time taking and sometimes it gets frustrating but it is key to waste this exam. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about a very important topic, and that is time management. How did you manage time? I I managed the time very easily. So mm -hmm. I finished my exam twenty five minutes before the completion of time. 
Wow. And I did not even bother to review the question. So I I finished my exam half, like 25 minutes before the time. Okay. Okay. So how much time you took for the first, like, uh, can you break it down to the first six feet? I, I, yeah. I think roughly I, I took like 70 minutes in first section and then 60, 60 minutes in next two sections. Okay. So first 60 and 60 and 60. So in this but way, questions were lengthy. They most of the questions were three liners. Some questions I have seen four to five liners as well. And the options were also lengthy as well. Some options were two liners as well. Most of the options. Hmm. Hmm. How many drags and drop questions were there? Uh, four drag and drop questions. They were tricky, but I was able to manage the I, I was able to manage them. So they were pretty relevant to your coaching calls. They were relevant to the coaching call. Okay, apart from drag and drop, how many uh, formula questions were there? There was no formula question. I, I had to calculate nothing. No critical path, no formula questions. No formula question, no critical path. Any graph questions? No graph questions. Hmm. No graph question. Any question where you have to actually select or where you have to select multiple answers? Yeah. Yeah, there were few options in which I had to select even four options as well. But I think I had like 10, 12 questions where I had to select multiple options. Hmm. Was that easy or they were difficult? They were easy if your concepts are clear, whatever concept you have mentioned in the class. If concepts are clear, then it's easy to ace this exam, even the multiple questions. They were not, first and second section were tough because questions were long and options were also long you need to apply a lot of concentration the thir third section was easiest because most of the people take a lot of time in first two section then they don't have enough time so i i think third section was pretty easy straightforward but first two sections were tricky so what you are saying if i'm hearing right like time management is very important the first two yeah. sections are uh, important spend like 80 minutes on then 75 but do have um, enough time for the third section because yeah. third section will be easy but if you don't have time enough you will not be able to manage that properly right yeah 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 okay omar it has been a great journey with you always uh, a very critical questions coming from your angle why not this why not that it has been a very interesting time okay so omar uh what I want you is directly talk to the people. I have put it on you on the main screen and tell them if they are starting from zero, how they can prepare for PM. If they are starting from zero, zero they, they should take your le lectures, understand the concepts. And once they start doing the question, root cause analysis is key. Initially, they should not worry about the time management. Once they come to the mock, then they should think about the time management. First, they need to deep dive into the questions and learn how to do root cause analysis. For my root cause analysis, I used to do what for all four options. I just not, I was using all four options as the root cause analysis. Initially I was doing with one options, but I did not find that helpful. Then I started doing all four options as, as root cause analysis. So root cause analysis is very important and whatever tips you, you gave us, that was more than sufficient. I didn't, there is no need to read the book. That's the best, best part. Yeah. yeah, that's an important thing. I always want to put in the context. When the people contact me, there is no need to read any book. With that, thank you very much, Umar. It has been an honor to work with you. Uh, I still remember when you came to me and you said that uh, you were a second guy, actually, that happened to me. Hamas, who actually cleared before his important life event, you came to me and you asked me, Amir, by how I'm going to do manage it. I said, don't worry about that. You can rejoin the batch. And you did that. In yeah. Three, you rejoined the batch and you gain concept from there. And here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, PMP number 300 of 2022. Thank you, Umar. It has been an opportunity for me to work with you. Thank you very much for your services.